Grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Have you ever said to yourself, if Jesus is the Messiah and I'm his faithful disciple, then why is my life so difficult? Maybe that's what John the Baptist was wondering. John had been devoted, had devoted his whole life to preparing for the coming of the Messiah. John had baptized Jesus, thinking Jesus was the one. John had expected the Messiah to establish the kingdom of God. Now John was wondering, where are the signs of the kingdom? Jesus had not raised a big army. There was no revolution in sight. And John? Well, poor John was locked in Herod's prison, about to lose his head. Had John made a terrible mistake? Was his life's work on the scrap heap? If Jesus was the Messiah, then why was John's life in such a mess? Is Jesus the Messiah or should we be looking for another? For many Christians, the word doubt is a dirty word. Doubt about God and Jesus is not something we are too comfortable talking about. The word faith, on the other hand, is very different. Faith is a great word for the Christian. And faith is the face we all like to put on when we come to worship. We sit in the worship service, say the right words, sing the songs and hymns, listen to the pastor, and on the surface, we look so full of faith. But what's really happening inside of you? Beneath your skin, do you have a, a little bit of doubt? Now, perhaps you don't share these thoughts and feelings with anyone, but our doubts are there, and they're real. The questions in our minds often remain hidden, but the truth is that most of us have times when we wonder, Jesus, are you the one? Or should we expect someone or something else? Christmas time can be a time when many of our doubts come to the surface. For many people, Christmas is anything but a time of joy and peace. Instead, for many, Christmas time is a time of pain and grief. It's a time when you're reminded of the losses in your life. Young people are reminded of absent fathers or sometimes mothers who now have them for a, a few hours on Christmas Day. It's a relationship, it's a reminder of broken relationships with couples going through the hassles of sharing their children while they try to remain civil to each other. And other people are reminded of their loneliness once they had children in the home. But now those children live interstate or overseas. And for far too many people, Christmas, Christmas reminds them of that special person who was taken from them by death. Maybe you don't even feel like decorating the tree. Maybe you've grown to hate those cheery carols that are piped through the crowded shopping centres. All they and everything else about Christmas seems to do is to mock your pain and your loneliness and your grief. You hear the words, joy to the world, the Lord has come. And maybe you think to yourself, has he really? And as we wrestle with our doubts about God, Jesus says to look at him and to listen to what he says. And this is what he says. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Are you experiencing loss or grief or pain? Then Jesus has come precisely for you. And unlike some who avoid you like the plague when you're going through a tough time, Jesus comes to you as Emmanuel. Jesus is God with you in your grief. 
in your pain, in your brokenness. Jesus is God with you in your messy life. And if you're still not sure, then look at what Jesus does. When Jesus walked the earth, he went to the needy. And wherever Jesus went, the blind would see, the lame would walk, the lepers were cleansed and the deaf received their hearing. The dead were raised up and the poor were given the good news of Jesus Christ preached to them. Look at Jesus and you see the face of God. And in that face, you will see compassion and love. Yes, Christ is the one we have been looking for. John the Baptist didn't get it wrong. Jesus is the promised Messiah. But he isn't a Messiah that brings in God's kingdom with military might. He's a Messiah that brings in God's kingdom with compassion and love. Jesus didn't come to wage war on people. He came to make people whole. And God, through Jesus Christ, is still bringing good news. He's bringing those who were emotionally dead back to life again. He's healing those who were broken. And it's happening every day. But often we don't see it. Like John the Baptist, surrounded by his prison walls, we're blind to what God is doing through Jesus Christ. Therefore, let's turn to Jesus and discover that he is Emmanuel. God with us in the middle of the mess of life. Turn to Jesus and discover what he wants to, that he wants to take the broken pieces and put them back together. Slowly but surely. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus and see what he's doing in your life. The resilience he gives to children from broken families. The unexpected kindness from an ex-partner. The wonder of a video call from interstate or overseas. The unbelieving child in trouble who says, please pray for me. The broken relationship that isn't quite as cold as it used to be, or perhaps is even beginning to heal. The moment of peace and joy, even as you still grieve for the one who died. And the enduring hope that comes from knowing that Jesus Christ has done what seemed to be impossible, defeating death itself. As Jesus approaches this year, may Jesus open your eyes to Emmanuel, the God of peace lying in the straw, who is always with you. And may Jesus heal your heart as he washes it with the same spirit that entered him at his baptism. And may Jesus open your ears so that you can hear his message of hope. Can you hear Jesus speaking to you? Let's just listen for a while. Love one another as I have loved you. Father, forgive them. My grace is sufficient for you. I have come that you may have life. Peace, I leave with you. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, God is with you. And isn't that all we need? God to be with us through thick and thin? Well, Jesus is the one we've all been looking for. Turn to him and experience the joy of God always being with you. And when you do, bring some of that joy into the lives of those around you by being Christ to them. Amen. I